trying to register as so a like it's not being a healthy mortgage in LLC. Thousands of our people are losing their homes every day. And we have come here today to give our support to Occupy Atlanta and Occupy America because we believe that justice ought to be served. We believe that the banking community ought to declare a moratorium on foreclosures. We don't think for the next six to nine months there ought to be any foreclosures on homes in this country. I deserve to be up here as much as anybody else. Y'all on the wrong side of this. How about this? What, what's your, does everybody what's have one dollar or a quarter in their pocket? Oh, we have the right to know that. If, if we participate yes, we in these auctions, yes, I have a dollar to spend on a house. Our struggle against Wall Street and the 1% is moving into our neighborhoods as we occupy everywhere. Millions of Americans worked hard to buy homes. But Wall Street crashed the economy, deliberately profited from predatory loans they knew families could not repay. Ms. Pittman was also a victim of predatory lending. At the age of 62, she refinanced her home and received over $300,000 for this home. A loan that was almost impossible to repay. A loan that she should have never received. A loan that was given banking on the fact that she could not repay that loan. I stand here with the family who's now left to deal with that situation. This family would also like to share their story. Through their grief, they're willing to stand here and let the world know what is happening to this family, but not only this family, to families all over the nation. Sometimes February 2011, my grandmother was diagnosed with a rare disease called pancreatic cancer. The doctors quoted the size of the zucchini, and they was left with the heartbreaking decision of nothing else they could do for her. Unfortunate news, November the 1st, her house went into foreclosure. <laughs> and that we needed to relocate immediately. My grandmother left, my grandmother mother left her that house. That's been standing since 1953. When my grandmother became sick, she got behind on payments, not being able, not being able to catch up with the payments. My grandmother, my grandmother nurtured seven grandchildren until we were old enough to get out on our own, finish school, and start working, but even our nine to five jobs can't help save our family house. At least one out of four homes uh, are underwater across the country. And in Atlanta, it's much worse. In Georgia, almost one out of two. 
homes are underwater. Uh, you know, folks are literally having their homes snatched out from underneath of them. I want to uh, introduce Bridget um, and, and like for her to say a few things uh, about the house and about her story. Yes, I've served uh, almost 21 years in the military. Um, to come home and be medically retired due to my injuries um, was upsetting because um, I took pride in serving. Um, that drastically reduced my income, so I wasn't able to maintain as I was before. Um, as I was facing my hardship, I, I've been in contact with Chase since the very beginning, and for some reason they just won't help me. They can send um, this income is not enough, or your expenses are too much, or and the time frame that's passing between me requesting assistance is, is getting greater and greater. So for anybody to lose a home, it is a travesty, but especially a veteran, you know, someone like myself who, who proudly made that sacrifice, I, I just feel like it's a slap in the face and it's time for change. It's time for change.